Welcome back to the third video of the video series How to Integrate ClearPass with Intune and Azure Active Directory. My name is Mitchell and in this video I'll guide you through the integration with Azure Active Directory and automating your WLAN config for Intune devices. Please note that the wired configuration for Intune devices will be covered in another video in this series. In the last two videos we performed the configuration of the extensions and made the integration with the Intune API. We onboarded the Windows 10 device for computer authentication with a certificate that we've pushed. But, for example, we also pushed a user certificate that we want to use. And this user certificate can be matched to a domain user in the Active Directory, or to say it better, the Azure Active Directory. So this means that we can fetch group membership information from particular users to allow them in a different role on the network. So we're going to configure exactly that. So we'll close this window, go back to the configuration pane to authentication sources and here we will add a new Active Directory server. We'll call this the Azure AD SD branch and the type will be Active Directory and I'll click on next. I'll need to provide a host name which is ldapss.sdbranch.nl and this is something that I've already configured so this domain name is present um, and has a valid certificate I'll click on AD over SSL and just heading over to the Azure portal just to show you the configuration that I've done in order to make it uh, to connect to this particular domain services so beside the fact that you need an Azure Active Directory resource, you would also need to add an do Azure Domain AD domain service. So this will allow ClearPass to contact that uh, Active Directory. Navigating to Secure LDAP. Over here, Secure LDAP is enabled, um, also over the internet, and the certificate is already configured. In order to communicate to this domain service, I had to change the network security group to allow the subnet or the IP address of this particular ClearPass node. But after that is done, I will just be able to communicate with this LDAP server like you would do with an on-premise AD. My bind DN will be Mitchell at sdbranch.nl. I'll fill in my password. And if everything is set up correctly, if I click the search base DN, we will get some response back and some queries. So, sure enough, everything is set up correctly. I'll just save this and now we can use this authentication source for our authentication policies. So there are already some default values or attributes that will be fetched from the AD when a user logs in, which we can use such as, for example, the group membership, member of. I'll just save this and we'll go back to the services. Since we made a special service for the Intune computer, I'll just copy the service and make one for the users and I'll first reorder it. Like that. And the reason for creating an additional service is that the authentication method is uh, still the same, EPTLS, but for the computer authentication, we didn't authorize the authentication, but for the, uh, since we couldn't match the username, but since we're matching the username of the certificate for the users to the Azure AD, we do want authorization to be enabled. So I'll remove this Intune TLS computer authentication method and I'll add the default EPTLS method. I'll remove this one and we will use the Azure AD SD branch authentication source. For the authorization it will be good to also add the SD branch since we may want to filter on for example different types of uh, groups and for the roles I will add an additional policy stating that or filtering on the type that should be our AD which is over here
and we will filter on a group stating that if a user contains an administrator value, for example, and you might want to be more specific when creating your own policies, we want to give it the role TechX Super Admin and just click on Save. So we've added another line item, but what is also important is that the rule evaluation algorithm uh, is right now first applicable, but we want to evaluate everything. So I'll need to change that to move the mappings rules to all matches. Click on save. And right now we'll change the configuration on the particular client. So click on properties. Or let's open the network interface card. So we can actually change the configuration. Wireless properties, security, and then instead of advanced settings computer authentication, we want to perform user authentication instead. So the client will disconnect and we will try to reconnect to the network. And just to make sure that the computers can still authenticate, we'll add the surface, the type that the username of the authentication request should have an add sign. So we'll state that the username should contain an ad for the certificate. Right. So going back to the access tracker, we see over here that the certificate is rejected. And the reason for that is that the user is not found and we need to do some trimming for that. So going back to the surface one more time, Intune user, and then authentication. You have the option to strip a username and we need exactly this example by clicking on save, try to reconnect with the network. Then going to access tracker. And sure enough, we're now authenticated. And we even have the TechX super admin role, which means the following. I'll skip the radius request, but if we go to the authorization attributes, we see different attributes being fetched from the SD branch AD LDAP server, but also from the Intune extensions. So now we have the ability to allow users by specific departments to have different roles on the network, for example, or differentiated access. So this is a good thing. For the next step, because now we did all the configuration manually, it would be nice if we can just automate that into Intune. So we'll head over to the Azure portal and go back to the Intune page and we'll create a configuration profile for that. So going to device configuration and then profiles. Over here, we'll create a new profile. We'll call this Windows 10 Air Hats and it OS is Windows 10 or later, and the profile type should, is at the bottom Wi-Fi. For settings, so basically everything that we've done manually is just, it's going to be the same for here as well.
we automatically want to connect. And the EAP type should be TLS. We only want to connect to clearpass.scbranch.nl and the root certificate for that particular certificate was the let's encrypt root CA. Click on OK. And now it's time to link the certificate or the SCAP uh, configuration profile to the um, Wi-Fi profile as well. So I'll click on OK. So this means that we'll use that particular certificate. Click on OK and assign a scope tag to it. I'll just leave it at default. And click on create. What's important to note is that if you take a look at assigned, it's not assigned to any user or a computer right now. And we want to change that by clicking on assignments and clicking on all user and all devices. Click on save. And now it should be assigned to our computer. So if we click on device status, you should see that the configuration is still pending. I'll just click on the sync button to try to check it in. I'll also head over to the Windows 10 machine, go back to the settings of the MDM enrollment, accounts and then access worker school. We are connected here and if the Wi-Fi profile is pushed, you should see somewhere here that a Wi-Fi policy has been defined since we're not seeing that um, the configuration is not pushed as of yet. Let's try to sync it. And though the sync has been successful, I'm not seeing the configuration as of yet. So I'm just going to restart the computer just to make sure that the sync happens properly. So going to the settings menu and then just checking the MDM connection again. So if the uh, sync was successful, we should see it either way that a Wi Fi profile has been pushed. So access worker is cool. And then, sure enough, we have our Wi Fi policy over here. So that's a good thing. If we take a look at the Airheads Corp trying to connect, we cannot forget it anymore. So we're connected. Uh, as you can see, the option forget is grayed out. If you click on properties, you'll see that um, some settings are or may have been hidden by my organization but going to network and internet, then clicking Wi-Fi and then manage no networks, you'll see that the Airheads um, profile has been added by the company policy. So that's a good thing. And with that, we successfully enrolled a Windows 10 device into Intune MDM. We pushed certificates to that particular client and let it authenticate with its certificates, either a computer certificate or a use certificate with Intune to ClearPass. And that's a wrap. I hope you found this video informative and per usual, subscribe and like if you want to see more of our channel and feel free to reach out and leave any questions or comments below.